We're here at BBWF 2013 in the Huawei booth, and I'm here with Les Brown, who's the director of wireline access standards for Huawei. And Les is standing next to the MA5600T, which is Huawei's new uh, large capacity vectoring system. And Huawei just launched this. Could you tell me a little bit about it, Les? Certainly will. The 5600T from Huawei, as you say, is a large scale vectored VDSL2 system. We refer to it as a node-based system. It consists of two half shelves. Each of the half shelves supports one vectoring card and up to seven uh, VDSL2 line cards, each line card supporting up to 64 uh, ports. And these two uh, systems work together, so you can support up to uh, 14 line cards, 64 ports each, up to 896 vectored lines. Systems like this are complex to develop, not only in terms of the uh, complexity of processing, but also in the communication bandwidth that's needed between the two vectoring engines. Why are we in need of such large-scale vectoring systems at this point? Well, in a very high den population density, uh, such as you might find in, in parts of Asia, uh, this system can be used to replace the older uh, ATM based uh, either in CO or cabinet systems um, to offer much higher uh, data rates where you're dealing with relatively short loops. So G.Fast can provide even higher data rates. Why do we still need uh, VDSL2? Well, they both serve their purpose um, and you need both of these technologies. It depends on the deployment scenario. So G.Fast is, is designed for FTTDP. Uh, which is running fiber to a distribution point very close to the customer's premises. So it's designed for loops that are typically less than 100 meters. It offers data rates up to about a gigabit per second. Whereas VDSL2 is designed for longer loops, it doesn't achieve the same high data rates, but it's, it's more geared for deployment from a, a cabinet. So it depends on uh, the service provider uh, and how he manages his deployment scenarios. Um, I should add that it's perhaps less expensive to deploy and, and more quick to deploy the VDSL2, vectored VDSL2 from cabinets because there are far fewer cabinets. The, the more you run the fiber out closer to the customer's premise, the more nodes you have to deal with. So it's, it's more time consuming and more costly to do so. Well, great. Thanks for sharing with us, Les. Thank you, Will.